So today is Monday, March 28th, and this is my 11 day post surgery update. And I must say that I have been feeling a significant improvement. The past two nights, I've managed to sleep through the entire night without getting up in the early hours of the morning to take additional pain meds. And my throat has also been feeling a lot better. Today I also went for my second post-op physio session, which went really well. The physio gave me some feedback and she said that my posture is looking better already and that my rotation of my neck is looking really good for the amount of time post-surgery. All in all, I am very happy. This past weekend I actually spent some time late in the evenings watching some football, which I haven't been able to do the weeks before that. Whenever I would sit down to watch anything, I would be very uncomfortable and in pain. So that has been absolutely amazing. And also just the ability to sleep through the entire night has been, oh man, I don't know how to even say it. It's since my birthday on the 24th of Feb, when my pain got a lot more serious and I had the pains down my arm and I had the nerve pain, I just couldn't sleep through the night. I had to take painkillers all the time and I woke up every night at sort of three, four or five in the morning and I would have to eat something and then I'd take additional painkillers. And yesterday and today have been two days where I haven't taken painkillers in the morning. So I've been trying to scale back to see how I'm really feeling and if there is any serious pain. Uh, this afternoon after lunch, I did take a dose of painkillers and I'll continue taking them in the evening just to help me sleep. I'm still sleeping slightly inclined on the mattress just because that's more comfortable. But generally speaking, I'm doing well and the recovery is going well and I'm feeling so much better. The first sort of week after the surgery was, was challenging and this is now the second week. I've started working part-time again, but very part-time. I'm making an effort to not sit behind my desk for hours at end. I'm doing 20 minute work sessions and then I take enough time to walk around and stretch and even lie down and just rest because I'm still recovering. So this week I will be doing light work and then I'll see how that goes. The physio also told me usually driving, you can only commence with driving sort of four to six weeks after the surgery. Uh, the surgeon did have a different opinion on that, but it obviously really differs depending on the patient and how your recovery goes. Thus far, based on my rotation, it's kind of looking really good. I might be able to drive sooner, maybe after three weeks, but it's not something that I'm going to rush into. I'm going to take my time. I don't want to have any setbacks. I don't want to injure myself with driving. It's obviously important to be able to rotate. You don't want to risk doing any sudden movements and injuring yourself. So the physio said usually patients with lower back surgery, they can start driving sooner after the surgery because they don't have the resistance on their necks. But other than that, this is a very positive update. Um, everything's going well and it's just so great being able to be in less pain being able to sleep longer and sleep through the night, not having that interruption every night to get up and take painkillers. So that's my update, 11 days post-surgery. I am insanely grateful. I've been telling people I've just been overflowing with gratitude. I even told the physio today that it's been playing on my mind, this whole thing that the surgery hasn't been around for that long. And if this would have happened to me sort of 15, 20, 30 years ago, I don't know what my options would have been. Um, I certainly wouldn't have had uh, the disc replacement option that I have benefited from. And she said, you know, even though there are a lot of things we hate about the modern world, modern medicine has definitely given us a lot of options, which is sometimes overwhelming, but it's better to have more options than less. And being able to have this type of surgery and have your pain be relieved and be able to recover and sort of get back into your normal quality of life or have a good quality of life afterwards and pretty much be able to do anything with this replacement disc is uh, to me it's an absolute miracle and i'll forever be grateful for modern medicine and my surgeon and the doctors that have perfected this procedure and this operation i also told my physio today that the two weeks leading up to my surgery were absolute hell for me it was like psychological torture needing to 
decide whether or not to have the surgery or whether to wait or whether to try other alternative treatments and I just told her I, I did not know who to speak to, who to consult, what other treatments to go to or go for and it's a really difficult position to be in and but then I also said that it was probably a blessing in disguise that my condition worsened and that I started having the pain down my arm and the nerve pain which I couldn't live with because had I not had that pain I would have perhaps delayed it even longer and I'm just really happy that I went for it so far so good I haven't had any sort of negative side effects I haven't had any complications it's been a really good recovery thus far and I'm really really looking forward to slowly but surely ramping up back into exercise and then getting back into the water to do swimming and I am so hyper aware of my posture even just sitting here you know it's, it's all about getting the chest out just a little bit to to straighten my posture and to have my the weight of my head be more over my spine versus sitting like this and and slouching and having that sort of secretary um, issue I don't know they call it the secretary syndrome or there are multiple names for that um, but we do not want to be doing this with our head because it puts a lot of strain onto our discs and I need to completely change up my posture and re-educate myself the way I walk the way I sit um, and it's also given me a lot to think about when it comes to my work I was spending a lot of hours behind a desk and working at the computer and even though I really enjoy that I enjoy working behind the computer, I enjoy my work, I also have a lot of other hobbies that involve sitting and being behind the computer like video editing and music production and you know just being creative at a desk. I've already started doing research into a standing desk but also I would like to review how much time I spend sitting and working if I can do some of that work whilst standing or walking or just, I don't know, just limit my work to a certain amount of hours per day with regards to sitting at my desk and that would be ideal. And then just improve my posture as well as improve my fitness and exercise, do specific exercises for my neck, for my back. Not only rely on swimming, I need to do regular walking, swimming, as well as um, weight exercises and specific sort of strength training exercises. So. It's certainly a challenge, but I am just so grateful that I don't have this shoulder pain right now. I don't know if, as I sit here, I have very, very minimal pain and I'm, and I'm not as uncomfortable as I was for a very long time. And I'm also coming out of a longer period of having had chronic pain, which has really held me back in life. And yeah, it's, it, it really changes you as a person if you are in pain a lot of the time or all the time and if that pain fluctuates it's sort of a roller coaster it's a very unpleasant roller coaster and it really um, affects one in a negative way it affects one's lifestyle it affects one's mood it affects your quality of life it's definitely something to take seriously so glad that I've had the operation glad I had this procedure uh, this is still my second bandage apparently it needs to stay on for 10 days which it already has if it's day 11 today the physio said I should maybe just keep it on for like two weeks but then I can remove it and pretty much keep it off so that'll also be an adjustment because I've been very happy that this has been protected with this bandage and um, but yeah at some stage it needs to come off I already could use another shave and um, then the scar will heal and I want to treat the the recovering incision to minimize any scarring and I did have a look at it the other day when I changed it and it's just to the right of center here and it's sort of it's it's not a tiny incision but it's also not a massive incision it's sort of somewhere in the middle but all well worth it at this stage that's my update for today I'll leave it at that I'm Sean Toomey wishing you an awesome day and I'll chat to you soon cheers <laughs>